Chuck Carstensen back with the fifth video in this series, in this book about Jesus, the millionaire of Nazareth, talking about Jesus' interior wealth. And one thing I think people are forgetting, because we talk about today's economy, a lot of people are struggling, a lot of people are laid off, underemployed, making less, or have bills piling up that they can't pay. And there are some people doing well, too, and we bless that fact. But overall, there's this awareness of struggle, bad economy, things are tough, things are tight. And we get into the wrong, wrong mindset when we hear this information, whether it's on the news or from people, from the, the water cooler conversations. But one thing that I've been reminded of when I read this book and there's one part that I really love is that God is always on time with your good. The reason things that might be happening overall in the economy is because there's good that can come out of it when people get in the right mindset. But let's look at your personal life. If you're having a struggle or had a struggle and you look back on that struggle, you say, hey, when it happened at the time, it didn't seem good, but normally more good has came out of that situation. And if you're going through that struggle right now, just know that more good will always come out of the situation. God is always on time with your good. And when I was struggling and having some financial issues, that's all I could rely on. I had, like I talked about in past videos, that was my resource. That was the thing I could cling to. I had a word that God is always on time with my good. And I could say that over and over and look for good. You can look for good by blessing things. When I was driving down the road, I'd see the trees and I'd say, thank you, God, for those wonderful trees. Or maybe see a bird and say, thank you, God, for that beautiful bird. I bless the things that look good or seem good. I bless the fact, thank you, God, that I have a house to live in. Thank you, God, I have clothes to wear. Thank you, God, I have food in the refrigerator. I bless the little things that most people forget about because I knew I always had good on hand. I knew God was always in time with that good that I desire, that increase, because people want to have increase, but most people are not increasing. So that's sometimes why things are being taken away from us, because we haven't learned the lesson of true prosperity, true increase, and that comes from a work within, a work on the mindset, on the heart and mind and, and soul. And that's what this book and others like it teach. And that's why I'm sharing it with you and sharing this information. I'm really excited and passionate about it. And it took me two to three years to share it because I spent time in prayer. I'm like, yeah, it's not the right time to do it. Not the right time to do it. And finally, recently, it started to sound like, you know what, it is the right time to do it. I got this camera. Sure, I don't have the best backdrop and I don't have massive production costs. But I'm taking what I have on hand and using it to try to help others. Doing what this book says. I'm not waiting for the situation to be perfect like a lot of people wait. Well, when everything's perfect, when I feel better, when this happens, then I'll go do it. No, I waited to the right time. I took my time. I didn't rush it. I took my time. And then when I thought, you know, I'm hearing that voice saying it's the right time. Let's do this. Let's do this one thing I'm really excited about. What you're excited about, what I'm excited about might be different. You know what you're excited about. You have those voices going on in your head saying, mm, should I do it? Should I not do it? Maybe you try it too soon. Maybe you don't try it at all. It doesn't matter because God is always on time with your good. So keep believing. Keep praying. And when it's the right time, you should know. And you can step out and see what happens. And have somebody there to guide you or mentor you or be there with you. So when you step out, if it doesn't go the way you want, you don't beat yourself up. Chuck Carstensen, Discovery Team at REMAX.